Is Buick bringing back the Grand National? No clue, but people are lining it up for it. A new Ferrari with a bunch of letters after it. I'm gonna show you that. A roofless Range Rover Evoque is on the Y. Yeah, you thought I was going to say way, but seriously, why? Plus, Cadillac's new flagship will be revealed soon, and it's Friends Day Wednesday for the fans. Oh yeah. It's hump day. What's going on, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you sure as hell are watching Fast Lane Daily. Tom, what uh, episode number is this? 1,995. Yes, 1995. Wow. And in the year 1995, Toyota introduced the Tacoma, Honda crossed over with the CRV, and Volvo entered the compact sedan game with the S40. Also in 1995, Toy Story was the biggest movie of that year. Can you believe it? Toy Story came out just about 20 years ago. That's nuts. That's wild. Man, makes me feel old. Anyway, hey, uh, speaking of, you know, that's only five episodes away of 2000. It's crazy. So speaking of being that close to episode 2000, it is exactly a week from today. I don't even know we said the date yet, but we are now. Yes, FLD's 2000th episode will be airing Wednesday, December 10th. Here's a very quick little taste. But that's all you get. But oh man, are you gonna get a bunch next Wednesday. <laughs> It's going to be pretty awesome. It's epic. All right. Moving on. <clears throat> Cadillac's new top-of-the-line CTS will make its public debut at the New York Auto Show in April. Of course, we will be there. The new model will start the new naming scheme, which combines Cadillac and Tourer for sedans. There may be a future model to sit above the CTS that will likely get the... What do you think that is, Erica? CT7? Yeah, CT7. Did I say CTS? I meant CT6. Yeah. I meant CT6, of course. And the next one after that would be CT7. What's after that? Maybe CT8. But anyway, the CT7 name will probably take on the BMW 7 Series. After the CT6, Cadillac will introduce a successor to the SRX crossover before updating the ATS and CTS sedans. All these damn letters. Seems like every company is now doing it. Yeah. Drive me nuts. What happened to cool names like El Dorado? Right? I mean, I guess you still have the Escalade. But soon that'll probably just be called like extra large, XL or XXL, <laughs> something like that. Hey, if you remember, Land Rover showed the world a roofless Range Rover Evoque at the 2012 Geneva Motor Show. Yeah, you probably don't remember. I didn't either, because why would you? But it's uh, been quiet about a production model since then, because quite simply, why would you make such a thing? But Autocar is saying the model is on the way to production maybe as early as next year. The Cabrio, I mean, just, I mean, just saying that, I drive a Range Rover Evoque Cabrio, people would be like, you do? Why? Because I live in LA. Anyway, it could debut at the same time Land Rover reveals the facelifted Evoque. Well, I tell you, got to be better than that Nissan Murano cross cabriolet slipper looking thing. I heard that. <clears throat> yeah, so it's definitely better than that. Nothing against, nothing against LA folks, I'm just saying. <laughs> Unveiled at Ferrari's finale, Mondiali event at Yas Marina <laughs> Circuit in Abu Dhabi. Geez, that sounds like a crazy rap lyric. Ferrari showed its new La Ferrari based FXXK. Like the Ferrari Enzo based FXX, the FXXK, here we go with all these letters again, is a more hardcore track going version of the Ferrari La Ferrari Ferrari. Ferrari. Even though it's a track car, the FXXK will never be used in competition. So, what about the power, right? Rocking an updated KERS hybrid system. KERS, of course, Kinetic Energy Recovering System. For you nerds out there. It features an electric motor that delivers 187 horsepower instead of 160. And the 6.3 liter V12 has been boosted to 848 horsepower, up from 789, for a grand total of 1,035 horsepower. It's down a bit in torque from the LaFerrari, Rocking 664 pound feet of what, Erica? Twist. That's right. I dig that not full spoiler in the back thing that's going on there. It's like two little wings on each side. Makes for cool FX on the FXXK. Right. 
A dealership in North Carolina has started taking orders and has even filled up a waiting list for a Buick Grand National and GNX revival that hasn't even been confirmed by GM yet. Yes, there are rumors of the resurrected cars, but nothing set in stone. According to the rumors, the models would be based on the ATS and the GNX would get power from a twin-turbo 3.6-liter V6. Make it 455 horsepower and 445 pound-feet of... Thank you, Erica. Same engine as the ATS-V. Again, if these rumors are true, we could see the two cars as soon as 2015. In related news, it's still unclear if the newer Grand National will still attract customers with mullets. Hmm? That's, that's a powerful car right there. <laughs> I love my Grand Nash. All right, all you FLD fans, let's see what you're posting for Friends Day Wednesday. Let's start off with FLD fan Radu Vlad, who rides dirt bikes. Nice. So, he sent us this picture, and if you look close, it's a soda can top as a center wheel cap in the middle of the wheel. Did you see that right there? He wrote, genius or what? I don't know. You decide. Next is from Ali Baber. Ali Baber. Sorry if I said your last name wrong, man. He likes Escalades, though. He snapped this picture of a minivan with Nissan GTR wheels. Now, you may say, what the hell's up with that? But hey, I think it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, actually, it's done kind of tastefully. It's lowered and everything. It looks good. FLD fan Eric Beck saw us at the LA Auto Show, snapped a picture of Tom, Erica, Zada Zauer, and myself. Look at that right there. So thanks for that, Eric. We appreciate you watching. Watching? Watching. A docked out Dodge Challenger. Hey, I would never do it, but to each their own, right? Honestly, even though I would never do that to a car or a Challenger, there is something intriguing about the way that looks to me. I don't know. Anytime I see anything donked out, I just, something cool about it, I don't know. Eduardo De La Paz sent us that picture. Appreciate that, buddy. Uh, next is FLD fan Gabriel Dennis, who likes throwing his kids in the air in the pool because who doesn't like doing that? Right. I just throw my nephew mad high. He sent us this video of two dudes towing an older Mercedes themselves with the one axle thing. One pushing and one pulling. Nice. No tow truck, no problem. That's what they said. And last is FLD fan Brad Sparks. Cool name and cool tropical fish. Yeah. Who took this picture of an interesting license plate in Florida that says, Vag Tank. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that means, but I find it hilarious. What better license plate to put on your Florida, in your, on your Ford Windstar minivan than Vag Tank? It's pretty good. I don't know. Well, I Vag Tank you very much for sending in that stuff, friends. We, uh, we appreciate it. You're all our friends, right? Our FLD question of the day is, do you think Cadillac's new higher-end models like the CT6 will be some serious competition for the bigger luxury brands? With what Caddy is doing lately, I think so. I think I'd take that new ATS-V over the M3. I'd have to drive both first, but the ATS-V is a beast. So there you go. Let us know what you guys think. Use hashtag FLDQ of the D. And of course, you could send your own in to Erica. Keeps it fastlanedaily.com. There you go. And that's going to do it for Fastlane Daily today. I'm Derek D. Remember, FLD's 2000th episode is one week away. One week, seven days, December 10th. I thank you for watching and subscribe if you're not. Come on, right? Please. And tell your friends. It'd be, uh, it'd be very nice of you if you're not here. Bye. Oh, you know, it's probably vagina tank. Yeah, but it's just... That's probably what he means, right? I thought maybe, at first I thought it was like veg tank, like, oh, it runs on, you know, mm. grease from a fryer or something. Has its belt? No, but it is VAG. Yeah, I want a um, Ford Windstar. Uh, check this out. My wife's going <laughs> to dig it. A veg tank, right? Cool. Is that avail it's available? I want that. Yeah, I'm a Windstar. Ow, we're living in the fast lane, baby.